Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a two for one day, I'm hoping, as long as everything uploads when it's supposed to. I am doing a cute little frog hanging on the stem of a flower. Uh, I've had a lot of requests for frogs and I had a lot of different ones sketched up and did not like them. So I thought I would just do um, an imaginary tree frog or Flower frog, that's what I'm going to call him. He only likes hanging on to flower stems and likes to look cute. So that's <laughs> what we're going to do. Um, you can't really see what I'm sketching up easily when it comes to the pencil portion. Um, but once I fill it all in with green, it might be a little bit easier for you to see what exactly I'm doing. Now, the leg and arm area, some of it's hidden. You can't see uh, but I assure you, he has all of his digits, all of his arms and legs and bottom. He has everything there, even if you can't see it. So please don't message me upset that I forgot a body part because I assure you everything that he needs is all there. <laughs> I will be adjusting the size of the face, um, the shape of the eyes as we go along. Um, it probably is just easier for you to wait until I have got it all painted up. That way you can take a look at where everything is and where everything has to go and, uh, some of the state steps that I'm doing are because I'm winging it. So the shape of the eyes right now will be changing to more of a circular shape. Um, and you'll be able to see the body a lot better very soon. So to those of you who have recently joined my channel, I welcome you. Uh, and to those of you who have been with me all along, I appreciate every single one of you and all of your love and support. I just want to make sure that I say that to you right off the hop because I don't get to visit you guys much throughout the summer months with my boys being home um, and it being super busy for me. So I am struggling to uh, get on YouTube as much as I would like to for you all. But this week, I am bringing out two, um, well, two in one day, and then hopefully another one in a couple of days because I have some good ideas. And I've been taking your ideas as well. So for those of you who requested a frog, here it is. I haven't named him yet, but he's super cute by the time we're done with him. So if you, if you have a cute name for him, um, make sure you put it in the comments. I'd love to see those. They, they always make me smile. You guys always put a smile on my face, even if I'm out in public or trying to be mad at my kids for what they just did, make it a mess. And then they see me smiling and it's because of you guys. <laughs> you see me smile at my phone and it's definitely all you. So you can see him a little bit better now that I have everything colored in. I'm using a classic green on the stem and bright green on the frog and a vintage tea rose on the flower. Now I do have to do two coats of everything in order to cover him all the blemishes from under the rock coming through. Um, I am using sponges from Martha Stewart to just kind of highlight certain areas of the frog under his belly and his bottom and a certain portions of his arms and legs too. Now I am going to lighten the nose up a little bit, the nose area, um, but I will be adding a little V of green just down between those eyes there. And once again, I did say I would be changing the shape of his eyes a little bit because after a while, he just kind of looked like a, an alien to me. So um, I needed to fix that. <laughs> I wasn't happy with it. So I am just trying to give some lightness to his nose by adding a little bit of white to my bright green that I'm, I'm using. I'm actually just using white on top of it. So any parts that you see that are lighter, I've just added a little bit of white to my light green. 
Now I am going around his eyes with a dark classic green like the in the stem of the flower. We're not really straying too far using too many colors with this one today. I still have to re-add his nose again now that I've lightened his nose area. I am going to be outlining everything in black like I usually do with my fine lining brush uh, once we're once I'm a little happier with the shape of his eyes and stuff, I will start taking care of the rest of it. So you can see I am using just the light green to kind of make the eyes a little more circular. And some of my black um, didn't didn't get very good coverage over top of my lighter colored rock so I could see some of the stone coming through. So I'm giving that... Um, another coat of black as well. Now you can see a little bit of green at the bottom of the eyes. That's just because I used a sponge to kind of uh, even out the green on the face a little bit again because um, I was adding around the eyes there. So I wanted to sponge around there and then I just used black to fill in the eye again. I'm letting the eyes dry and I'm working on the second coat on the stem. Now it looks like he doesn't have any toes and he's just kind of sliding down the stem of the flower. Uh, we're gonna add some cute little blue colored toes uh, very soon. And we're gonna make them shiny too. We're gonna give them a little bit of shine, shiny little toesies. So I am just doing another second coat around the eyes now that I'm happy with the shape. And uh, once again, I do outline everything to make it kind of stand out a little bit more. Now the little V of dark green, I'm putting down the center in between his eyes. And I just kind of used a paintbrush to make the V shape and then I sponged it out a little bit. Um, I'm also doing a little bit of darker green along bits of the arms, just to kind of make it look like it's a little um, low light or shaded a little bit there. And I do end up adjusting his bottom slightly because it looked just a little too bony for me. <laughs> but one leg is up top, up underneath the pedal. One leg stretched out down the bottom. One arm is hanging on, well, both arms are hanging on to the stem. You'll see all the fingers this one, it kind of looks like the arm is missing, but it is there. It's just hidden behind everything. So he does have all of his body parts, remember. And I am using aqua blue. Um, so it's like a nice, a nice color to work with um, for his little toes. Because I didn't want him to have just plain old green toes. And I didn't want him to have orange toes or red toes like you see. Uh, on real frogs. So we're doing a different one. <laughs> we're doing a flower frog. So I am darkening his bottom a little bit and sponging it in towards the light green. Um, just wanted to give him, you know, add a little bit of meat to his butt because his butt was way too skinny. Not that skinny butts are not okay. Just I wasn't happy with his butt shape. <laughs> so don't get offended, anybody. I love skinny butts and big butts. <laughs> uh, here all week, everybody. Here for a laugh. So I'm doing a second coat of my vintage tea rose petals. And I am making a mess of the circular part at the top of my flower, but we're going to fix that with a sponge very soon. And we're going to give some life to his eyes as well, because he's a zombie frog at the moment. Now I'm just getting a little bit of pink and a little bit of white, and I'm like Sliding that on, just starting at the very top of the petals and just kind of dragging it down so there's like a little tint of white in the petals 
I'm not covering the whole petal. I'm just dragging it down the center and stopping short. Like I'm not going quite to the bottom. And it's just to give some uh, definition to the petals. Um, once again, this doesn't look realistic. It's just the way I do it and it's fun. Now I'm also adding shell powder, which is like a, a white nail glitter, which I will leave a link in the description for what I use. And I'm adding that to each petal. And here's where I brought life to his eyes. They're shiny little round eyeballs. Um, so just using my fine lining brush and a dotting tool, uh, I did that on his eyes. Now the glitters on the petals, I used a sponge again with a little bit of black paint just to kind of define my, my cone uh, flower, the top there, the center of our cone flower. And I added just a little bit of gold as well, just to the inner part of the cone flower. And now I'm doing little white splashes, not really splashes, but little tiny dots on little portions of his toes so that they look kind of shiny. And I'm just using white paint for that as well. Everything's outlined with black paint. Um, make sure you outline each one of his little toesies so that you can see them all and outline the petals. I thinned out some of the black line on the petals using some more tea rose once it was dry, but that's just part of cleanup. And here I have resined it for you. Isn't it beautiful? So cute, cute little flower frog. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Don't forget if you come up with a cute name for him to leave it in the comments. Share this with your family so they can paint along with me too. I love you guys and appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for being a part of my rock world. And you guys are all rock stars in my eyes.